Hi loves and welcome back to Love Christina's Conversation Pieces. This week we will take a stab at the age old double standard. Why do men get to have multiple sexual partners while women are looked, up, looked upon as if it's not okay? So we'll have Thomas, Will, let's get to it. Okay, so double standards. Why can a man have multiple sexual partners and it's okay versus a lady, it's not okay. Although I feel like this day and age, anybody could be a hoe and it's cool. But <laughs> there are still some people who believe women with multiple sexual partners is not cool. It's not clean, it's not a lot of things. So what's your thought process? Um, I feel with women, women are supposed to be the receivers, right? Mm -hmm. Men are the givers, which is why you have a penis because it goes outward. Mm -hmm. Women have a vagina, it goes inward. So you are the receiver. Don't ask. <laughs> you weren't supposed to. Look, look, it's about to go. 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 Right. Women have a vagina and it goes inward. Men have a penis and it goes outward. So the women are more in control of what they receive. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And men, it's it's part of our nature to be the giver. So we're used to giving. Women are used to receiving. So a woman who has a lot of sexual partners are the, they're the receivers of it. So when a woman is you know, having, uh, 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 you know, they're, they're. Oh no, what the fuck that was? <laughs> <laughs> I can't get. Oh, no, I'm gonna have my, sweating yeah, already, boy. Basically, what I'm saying is women are more, I feel like they're more in control of what comes in and what doesn't come in. So then we it's our bad that we allow people to have sex with us versus you who cannot control who you have sex with? I do believe so. I believe that men yes, yes. I believe that men <laughs> yes, yes. I believe that men it's it's in our nature to be like that. It's not in your nature to just keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? It's in the nature part, but uh <laughs> I feel like this thing went a whole different way. No, I mean, so. maybe the way I spun it wasn't. <laughs> the nature part I get. You know what I'm saying? But I also think it's like an age thing, too. Okay. So people have whole phases. Okay. That's what you believe. Okay. Okay. So That's when right. is a whole phase acceptable? Yeah, early teens. God damn. <laughs> 18, 20, he said early teens. Early. So when you 13, 14, it's cool. All right, that's all good. This dude, I did not. Oh my God. You better get it in while you can. Because no. once you hit that 25 what? mark, hey, it can end your luck after that. So anybody hoeing in their 30s, y'all, y'all toast. Y'all <laughs> dirt. It don't make sense. They don't like it. So it's not a good look for men and women? During that time, after 25, or is it just women? Both. Both. So how? <laughs> well. <laughs> oh yeah, we getting to it. We get, hey, we getting to it. We getting to it. You good, baby? We getting to it. <laughs> Look, we getting to it. We are getting to it today. We okay. are getting to it. Um, I mean, yeah, you got to be able to control your. Yeah, you know, when it comes to when you get a little older, I mean, some things are just not acceptable. When at with age come responsibility. I mean, you just can't be out here sticking and moving in your forties and fifties, even though guys do do it. It's frowned upon, you know. So, yeah, I definitely think you should be a little bit more responsible as you get older. But everybody's gonna go through their phases. Everybody's gonna, you know, want to, you know, dabble here and there, and you know, have experiences and stuff like that. But I just think that women should be a little bit more careful about, you know, how many experiences they have. Because what if she's a nympho? Like, what if that she just likes having sex? But see, with different people. Well, Some people get off of having sex with different people. You know, it also has something to do with how you do it. 
not necessarily the amount of partners, but how did you go about doing it? Like, for instance, you can have a woman who say she slept with, I don't know what's an average amount of. Uh, that is a good question. But question. like, you know, that's that? another question. An average yeah. <laughs> I, I figure, and if, the way I look at it, if I talk to a female and I ask her, you know, how many guys have you, you been with? And she says something like three, 25. I'm probably starting that's to, I'm start, I'm, I'm, start, I'm probably that's starting that's to that's look that's at her. I'm not, I'm not, that's not a deal breaker, but then I'm, I'm kind of thinking like, okay, how did you accumulate these 25? But now, that's not a lot of if you, you're in your thirties. True. No, no, no. That's true. But just say that nine of them came from a train. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, hey, hey, don't act like, don't act like they ain't out there doing that. Cause you know, it, back in the day, you know, Ladies, it, okay. But, if you still get a train ran on you really, like, right do, now. Do well, now. No, no, not necessarily now, but in, you know, maybe when you were in your young, you know, uh, adult ages or oh. your older teenagers. I know a couple females and, that they named. Right, right, right. Now. And you, if you okay. got 25 partners and nine of them came in that one night. That might that, speak a lot a, to your character. Yeah. It's yeah, that, like, oh, you just you let from that experience. experience. I mean, you yeah. can. I know a couple of people that it grew from it, but at the same night. time, you still looked at it. Yeah, you know? like, I don't know if yeah. I, I don't know, yeah. man. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Just for me, if I find out that a woman that that I'm interested in and that I'm liking has done that before, it it, it might play a factor on how serious I take it. We, we got it's some just, stats it's coming in. It's we just got some might. stats. So 15,000 men and women were polled. Okay. And between the ages of 16 and 74, men claim to have a lifetime average of about 15 partners. Men? And men. And women had seven. <laughs> now well, here's the thing. <laughs> this data does vary by state. Now in Louisiana, Louisiana, there has been an average of 15 partners for women. Yeah, yeah that makes more sense. And like six yeah. in Utah. Yeah, because see, yeah, because Utah is the is the super is the Mormon, Mormon, yeah. you know, Mormon, 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 Mormon faith, and then Louisiana is like the, the drunk state, you know. <laughs> you know, they got Bourbon Street, they got uh, flashing, and uh, what's they call that, uh, Mardi Gras? Yeah, so shit, I can man. I can imagine. I think you know, though, in Utah, motherfuckers is really out there fucking more. There ain't shit to do in Utah. Mind you, this is something hey, that I people do, would I lie know about. A freak or two yeah. Yeah. This is something yeah. that people yeah. would yeah. lie about. Yeah. If you remember, and yeah, people definitely. This is something that people would lie about. Matter of fact, I think damn near every woman that I've asked lied to me. I just feel like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I ain't gonna even hold you. Like, I honestly feel like if a woman tells you, just the, and depending on what y'all chemistry or whatever is, if you know if she comes on to you a little freaky and, you know, she's very, you know, forward with you early, and then she tells you, oh, well, I've only been with three people. Sometimes that's you're, you're like, up, you're lying. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't know about Maybe that. Because that stuff that you, no, 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 Maybe no, she's no, been no. with three the way people that you did a that great thing time. When you did that she thing. really But if you just like, oh, I, mean, I only had, I only fucked like, I only had three different parties, but I just met you. We already talked. Right, right, right. We already did. Something had nothing. So it's like what J. Cole said, you got to multiply by three. Hey, that rule has really been it's put real. there for a reason. I'm sorry, man. I look. I'm sorry, but I definitely it's, believe in that rule. I don't I'm think sorry. I've ever given a number. Like, I don't know the fuck. I mean, you know, they try to women do. They, they I wouldn't. You know, I'd be like, if you've only been with three guys, it, easy pop up in your head. But if you know you've been with maybe more than ten, you got to think about it. Like, okay, there was Raheem. That, 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 that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, it kind of. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta think about it. Just like when you ask a guy, like he really, he really gonna try, but he probably ain't gonna be able to pinpoint. But another. see, that's the double standard. The yeah. fact that going into it, you you would ask your chick, like, oh, okay, so how many have you slept with? When in her mind, she's not tripping on how many she slept with. Right. She's also not giving a damn about how many people you slept right. with, right? Because she's right. trying to get it on right then and there. Right. That's the double standard. Why are you asking? It absolutely, it absolutely is. Why, I mean, why does it matter? I think because women kind of already know that the man has has that, so it's no, it's no wonder to even ask. Especially if you you know you might have heard something about him or you know somebody else that he's dealt with. You kind of already have him pictured about how many people you think he's been with. Men with women, they're a little bit more sneakier with it. You can't just oh, look yeah. at a woman and be like, oh, I could tell she's been with like ten. 
people. You know, it, it's it's not that easy to tell women because they're so deceptive with with everything. You know, because like, we're receivers. <laughs> But at the same time, though, you know what I'm saying? Like, when the female asked the dude how many number. partners he really had, and that nigga give her that number, she's already turned off. Right, like, right, right. So that was right. double standard right there. Don't right. ask me if you ain't ready to get right. that answer. Yeah, Do you know your fact. number, best friend? Hell no. Good, thank you. Do you know your best uh, uh, Roundabout, you know, I can, I yeah. ballpark figure. You know, I can park like, like three, yeah. maybe two more. <laughs> I mean, you know, I can, you know, I don't, I don't want to throw that out there, but let's let's just say, let's just say, uh, I can't remember. So yeah, I would. That that's a yeah. I, that's a ridiculous question, especially in the age that we're in. Like, why are you asking me this? I am a grown ass woman. I've done grown ass things. Next, like the yeah. hell. That's like. That's I don't even, even want to know. I ain't even asking. Like, I, don't I, don't even care. I ain't gonna lie. I do be. I do ask, but I, I don't ask in the beginning. You know, I, I usually. So this, this is usually like after a while that I've gotten to know him a little bit, and I want now. It's like I want to know more about you. Now that now that we've already kind of established how we feel about each other, well, now does I wanna, that kind of changes your mind? It can. It can. It just depends on what she say. Like first of all, it's not really. I want her to tell me a certain amount of women to turn me off. I just want to see if she's going to keep it real. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I want to see what her response is going to be because she could easily be like, you know what, Thomas, I ain't going to lie to you. I've done some things in my past and, you know, uh, some things I've probably, you know, ashamed of it, but it happened and I'm different now and, and I can accept oh, that. Oh, Lord. Anyway, but, look, no, I'm with him now. So, the <laughs> next thing. <laughs> Okay, so would you rather somebody who was less experienced, no. or do you like somebody who is more mature? I'm mature. I mean, experience. definitely mature and experienced, but you can be mature and experienced with three people. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to be mature and experienced with a whole bunch of people. You know, you could just be with one person and do everything and know how to come into the next situation and still do everything. You know, it doesn't... Doesn't mean you have to have a bunch of different people. That's true. I do believe know? that. But I, I don't know. How are you experienced with one person though? Because, because you've you done do every sexual act with that person. But not with that next person, so you're not really experienced. I mean, you're experiencing the sex you know, act, the act. But you're just not experienced with the sex acts people. with a yeah. bunch of different people. Because, you know, everybody likes different things. Yeah. And, you know what I'm saying? So you might not be experienced in knowing what to do with a whole bunch of other different people, but you. You do know what you're so doing. You still, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and to that person, they know what they're doing until they have sex with somebody else. And then else. it's like they don't know shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah. That's a good point. That's, yeah. a, good, that is, that's a good point. But, but at least they're not scared to do it. Because if you get somebody right, who's right, not experienced, right. you got to kind of warm them up to the right, idea. Right, you gotta, right. It's a whole lesson. It's a whole lesson plan. It's ridiculous. Absolutely. But, um, yeah. Absolutely. I'd rather do experience too. I can't. Nah. Somebody who ain't been doing no, nope. I ain't got time for all that. That's a lot of work. Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> giving people instructions. Yeah, nobody is not really to, to yeah. 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 Like, you don't already know about fuck that shit. <laughs> can't do it. Best friend of like. I mean, you you you, you shouldn't have to tell anybody anyway. They can, they know if they're doing the right thing or not just by your response. If they know how to pay attention. Well, they should. Yeah. That's well, they what I'm they should. Let me let me put it that yeah. way. They should. They should know if they pay attention. To the partner because some people are only ah, they're very selfish they're only in sex for themselves right. <laughs> so right. they don't pay attention to the partner they don't pay attention to the body movements or anything and that's really sad i think right. you should definitely want to please as well as receive especially during sex Absolutely. this is turned into something different but <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no yeah but it's still in the same, the same, same context same you know what i'm saying yeah it is <laughs> Back to double standards. <laughs> um, even growing up, I used to all like I grew up with my brother and my cousin, and so I'm following after them. And it was always like, Christina, you can't do that. They're boys. Nope, Christina about to jump over this uh, puddle. Christina about to climb all these trees. Christina doing everything, and I did. I made sure I did everything they did. And if I did not do it better, I was upset. Mm -hmm. But it was just to prove that, like, just because I'm a girl, y'all can't do shit better than me. And, and I literally, uh -huh. and then that kind of went into my dating scene. So my brother was definitely somebody who had a lot of girls. So I was like, well, let me see, you know, what I could do. We <laughs> would go to the mall. Yeah, no, <laughs> like, I, was, I was the only female yeah. with a bunch of niggas. Go to the uh, mall, 
see who can get the most numbers. I'm right there with them. So mm -hmm. I never believed in double standard. Like I always tried to prove that I wrong. I think that, that's always been like a, something to do, especially growing up out here. Cause nope. ain't shit to do. Ain't shit Man. to do. Right. Go to the mall, but hey. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I used to have like an address book. Yeah, you know, we have to write that shit down. For real. You felt worthless if you didn't leave out the mall with at least one, least one number. You at least had to get one real number. Talk. For real. That's a shame. We owed y'all. Anyway. Yes, so that's this week's conversation piece. <laughs> I hope that you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, share, comment. Thank you. Absolutely. See you guys.